If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I'm an award-winning scientist, teacher, lecturer and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. I've been saying this without providing you guys evidence. So I'm going to start showing off. So this is my, I don't know if you can see, PhD Supervisor of the Year Awards. I won the best supervisor on the planet. And one of the haters commented funny thing about me winning awards. So every video I'm going to show you a new award and I would need quite a lot of videos too. <laughs> to show off, the motivation of today's video was one of the videos from YouTuber Altcoin Buzz, where he talked about decentralized gambling. I will leave a link in the description of, of that video from Altcoin Buzz, really well-respected channel. So I decided to dig deep. Now, coming from a traditional Sikh family, gambling is a taboo. I have never ever gambled in my life. <laughs> Altcoin Buzz uh, said that there is a free NFT, and I'm, I'm really, really deep into NFT technology. So there is a free mint. So I said, okay, I'll, to qualify for the free mint, I'll register myself. So that's what I did. And because I have been always told that gambling is bad, gambling is taboo. I said, you know what, let's try to look from the other side. Let's try to do some research. Before we discuss the gem I have found for you, let's have a quick look at the markets. Bitcoin is about to kiss 22K which is looking really, really healthy. However, I still maintain my earlier predictions of 17.5K retest and 14K worst case scenario. I think this is just midterm election positivity. This is just Elon Musk buying Twitter. This is just people thinking Dogecoin, Bitcoin, BNB will be integrated onto Twitter. I think there is still blood that will come. A quick look at the news, probably preaching to the converted here, but the banking sector, the most corrupt sector on the planet is actually using 56 times more energy than the Bitcoin network. Every new technology that comes is energy heavy. Even the tumble dryers consume more than the Bitcoin network. So when, when someone throws these values at your face, you have to know the facts. Binance has decided to liquidate its entire FTX holdings. How that's gonna impact on the price of FTX is only anyone's guess. What is going on? Is there a com competitive thing going on between CZ and Sam Bankman Fried? Uh, in another news, you know Richard Hart, you know Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X. So this is quite interesting that <laughs> SEC, our favorite SEC, the corrupt SEC, the SEC which only allows insider trading, has subpoenaed some of the influencers. I think all influencers should declare to their subs. Follow me on Eat Healthy Get Rich on Twitter. You see my declarations. There are two undoxed projects here, which is Ek and Moon blockchain. And then there is two dox projects, Mintrust, which is DeFi protocol on Ethereum, Opus Labs, which is an NFT project on Ethereum as well. I have always uh, made my subscribers very, very aware. The projects I'm working with, <laughs> Bitboy Crypto made a video today saying sorry to the subs. You have to do your own research. If a YouTuber or an influencer like me says something on YouTube or Twitter, you have to do your own research. If you decide to invest a single penny ever, it's on you not on the youtuber especially the ones that who declare the ones who don't declare they are the real criminals in my mind and they should be sec should rightly go after them bitboy crypto saying sorry is not gonna wash away his sins what he has committed previously he has dumped on his followers so let's look at gambling shall we the good the bad and the ugly so i have spent the whole week researching about this topic and what i found might shock you actually gambling has been going on since paleolithic period surprise surprise it started in china just like the first printed fiat currency gambling actually started in china started with people betting on animals so cockfighting various animals fighting each other and then from china it spread elsewhere for example the casinos casino type structures were actually first run in persia board games etc etc the bad i think all of you have seen netflix documentaries so i don't have to tell you but casinos have been implicated in in major laundering of money most of this laundered money about 90 percent of them actually is done via banks in their collaboration with their agreements the most criminal entity on the planet are the banks about 0.4 percent of all the laundered money goes via cryptos there is also superior understanding by these uh, companies in terms of algorithms in terms of maths and the saying is the house always wins basically that means the house is always right however the project i'm going to talk to you today gives you a fair chance of winning if you gamble something has a really interesting model it has an nft 
NFT that you can actually mint for almost free. You just need to be USD. Open an account and I'll leave a link in the description to open that account and you will get a free NFT. That NFT will entitle you to have a slice of savings of the house. So even if you lose and house wins, you still will get a cut. That is, I think, pretty revolutionary. And you will get everything on blockchain. Everything will be visible on that naked ledger in a system called proof of fairness. Obviously, uh, I've just been alluding gambling existed even before casinos. Most of the towns like Las Vegas and Monte Carlo, the, the revenues for the whole city, the jobs for the whole city are sustained through gambling. So they are major tourist att attractions. And you'll be surprised to find actually the most number of casinos actually are in UK. Where else do you think gambling is going on? One quadrillion Futures and derivative markets is all gambling. Based on algorithms, these hedge funds, Wall Street people, they bet against something going up or something going down. Really amazing form of regulated gambling, which SEC promotes, which all the institutions promote. 2008 financial crisis was bad bets by the bank, bad gambles by the bank. Who paid? You paid. In 2022, recently, European energy companies were rescued by the European Central Bank. Reason? They gambled away. They bet on energy prices and their bets got so wrong that the ECB had to come in to save them. Your pension funds, a part of your pension funds, are actually invested in these hedge funds that gamble away your money. Point I'm trying to make is there is no stopping gambling. It's human. It's human nature. And after my research, I think I'm gonna look into ways into which how I can make money by this basic human desire to gamble. And obviously, if you want to join on this journey, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification button so that you know these time sensitive details. And today's video is very, very time sensitive. There is a big field of sports betting and I think UK with Sky Sports having its own bet 365. Sports betting is huge in US and UK. Probably in other parts of the world, I know Bet365 is one of the major companies, Sky Sports. There are so many companies and there is games going to be played till humans will exist on the earth. So why not profit from this industry? In fact, one of the highest paid CEOs in the UK is actually founder of Bet365, Denise Coates. Last year, she got 421 million in salary, but due to pandemic, her pay cut was done. She had to accept a pay cut of 170 million and she was only paid approximately 300 million UK pounds per annum. It's crazy. <laughs> so what I'm trying to make is everyone is gambling, whether they are gambling it directly or indirectly. The number of jobs sustained all over the world through gambling is sensational. So why not regulate it properly? Why not stop the money laundering and why not give power to the people who gamble. Even the ancient Hindu text Artha Shastra talked about legalization of gambling, talked about taxation. In the modern context, I think cities like Las Vegas, Monte Carlo has given gambling industry an identity. It is a for method of human entertainment. The statistics are crazy. 50% of legal age Americans have gambled in their life. This is a sector that's gonna grow exponentially. Obviously there are issues, there is problem gambling, not a focus of today. You should never gamble away large sums. You should take care of your mental health. You should just do it for enjoyment. I have a friend who is from Pakistan. I'm Indian. He always bets on India to win. So he's always happy if Pakistan wins. He's happy that Pakistan won. If India wins, he makes money. He actually made money recently in the T20 World Cup. So those are the type of gambling gamblers I love. And those are the type of gamblers I wish can come to the blockchain sector. The name of the company is an arcade. They are giving away NFTs for free. Anyone holding that NFT will get the slice of what the house wins. However, you need to you do need to rush here because those spots are going on. For that, you need to sign up to the platform, join the Discord, deposit about $2 BUSD. It was absolutely smooth experience. I loved it. And that's it. I Don't gamble. Just get the NFT and then get the royalties for the rest of your life. That's how easy and cheap this is. Links will be in the description. What is an arcade? It is a Web2 slash Web3 technology company that will have mini games, a casino platform dedicated to crypto hats, gamers, gamblers, and any degenerate they say. Innovation here is proof of fairness. Any game that you play on the platform, there is a record of it in blockchain and you can actually check for yourself. It's not like in Las Vegas, suddenly there are two, three beautiful Californian girls sitting next to you and behaving as if they don't know how to play blackjack and then you have to teach them. <laughs> Guys, 
they are paid. <laughs> they just encourage you to gamble more. You can do this from sitting in your house. You don't need to go out and spend crazy amount of money on alcohol, on beers. This is the most fairest way to play some games. The statistics here is crazy. There are 1 billion crypto users. 23 billion has been gambled already on online poker. I think it's close to 1 trillion now. The total gambling industry plus casinos plus online gaming and betting is above 1 trillion and sustains thousands and thousands of jobs. I have played some of the games I'm going to show you in a second. The free mint will be soon upon us early next year. Beauty is there is a token pre-sale. So this they will have a token and that token has not even launched yet. That token has not even had a seed sale yet. If you remember, I have been focusing exclusively on seed projects, on early stage projects, because me and my subscribers only need to hit one jackpot and we should be okay for the rest of our, of our lives. This is basically like investing in Google and Amazon before they launch. So when they launch the token, there will be a buy pressure, auto buy pressure on the token and any commissions that the house wins, a proportion of it will be shared with the NFT holders. The team is pretty experienced. They have raised about 40 million already amongst themselves from various other projects and they seem to be very, very experienced. They have done a competitor analysis and there is DJ CoinFlip, MetaWinStake.com. You can see actually their estimated profits are way, way ahead. So around 36.5 million and they also have NFT community, gaming community. You can read about all about this. I'm just going through the light paper here. Most of these games don't have a utility token whereas an arcade will launch a utility token. The total amount of tokens is approximately 1 billion. You can see actually there is 0% unlock for most of the teams and advisors. Uh, everything will be locked anywhere from one month to 12 months. I see an airdrop here. So maybe, I, I don't know, this is all speculation uh, coming from Cosmos ecosystem. I know these airdrops could be really, really valuable. There's 10 million tokens that will be airdropped. And I think that will probably go to DGENs, early users, early experimenters on this platform. Everyone is talks. Although when I click on these LinkedIn profiles, again, it just goes to an arcade here. Let's click another one. Again, there is no picture behind. It looks pretty similar. There's one uh, female here. So let's just go in here. Yeah, so there is a picture there. Indonesia. Okay, there is some activity here. I think they are doxxed because Altcoin Buzz already made a video. I think some of these folks are from Australia. Maddie from Altcoin Buzz probably knows some of these folks. This picture to me looks like a Indian uh, movie movie actor so let's just click here okay it goes to Adeline Chang so I don't know if, if the founders are watching this video please do fix this I'm not concerned obviously because of altcoin buzz which I mentioned as a partner here only go through official sites so I would encourage you to join discord twitter and instagram links this this particular website will be in the description please only go from there there are so many scammers uh if you are interested only use that link okay guys <laughs> some <laughs> DJ and gambling time. I'm not a gambler, so forgive me for my inexperience. I have played this before the $50 raffle. There's already 12 tickets sold. Once all the tickets will be sold, you will enter into a raffle and let's just buy this. So I'm gonna buy one ticket. So you can see my balance here is 187. Buy. Okay. So it's $2 ticket. So it's 185 left. And you can see there are 13 tickets sold. Once they hit 28, automatically rewards will be paid out. All the record will be on the blockchain. There is a raffle for Mutant 8 Yacht Club, which is only $10. So let's just buy one of these tickets. One, so it's $10. <laughs> okay, this is amazing, guys. This is so fast. You can play Blackjack. I'm not gonna even try. Uh, let's play this uh, Punks versus Apes. I think it's just a coin flip. So let's just say I wanna press $10. You can either select punks or you can select ape let's select apes because we just bought a mutant ape flip ah oh, shit oh sorry so we lost i'm just gonna do another one we won 20 so yeah so i actually won you can actually lose a lot of money on gambling so i would suggest have a set budget if, if i win a mutant at yacht club uh, i'll be very very happy i don't know uh, you just guys go through these websites so there's blackjack there's raffles you can history everything is on blockchain everything is provably fair you should only invest what you can afford to lose you should only gamble that should be a tiny tiny proportion of your income i bought some tickets here i've played some coin flips i think that's me done for tonight the nft aspect is the most exciting i have achieved the whitelist so i'll be able to mint one and that nft should give me royalties for the rest of my life 
it only cost me two dollars that's all i have to say let me know, know your thoughts on gambling the way i have spun the positive side today of course there is negative side i welcome all the comments leave them in the description like subscribe hit that bell notification button and i'll see you in the next video